What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Wednesday, March the 6th. I am Justin Davis, and I am joined. We have the the return of D-Legs. The return, Destin Legary. D-Legs. Something at IGN. I'm, I'm trying to get D-Legs going. I don't know. I didn't ask your opinion on this. I don't know whether you like it or not. Uh, my but... brother's nickname was actually B-Legs, so hey. I'm fine with it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, so the App Store update compiles all the hot new game launches, price drops, and updates for you know each 24-hour period. Today, Destin, we have two game launches. Okay, cool. The first up, They're hot. The first up is Mini Ninjas. Did you ever play the console Mini Ninjas game? No. So there's a console game. Mini oh, I know this game. There was a console Mini Ninjas game. It was sort of an open world game. A bit. Yeah, get that. <laughs> that volume adjusted down but this one is not you know open world it's not sort of fancy 3d this is an endless runner okay it still still comes from square enix you tap oh, it's pretty you, yeah it is pretty pretty you tap the left side of the screen to jump and you tap the right side of the screen to swing your sword to kill the ninjas oh i'm, I'm already i made it 83 meters but then i have these power-ups that you know give me a second chance but normally i'd be dead right there and, uh, you know, you're trying to free these animals. You're collecting uh, coins that can be spent on potions that power up your character. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I played this one on the train this morning, and I was not especially impressed. There's nothing oh. There's nothing like wrong with it, but there's nothing right with it either. You've seen so many MS runners, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, the genre is very, very saturated at this yeah. point. And, uh, you know, a game needs to do something pretty special to stand out. You do have special powers like this. Oh, neat. Yeah. Also, another problem, it's not free. Yeah, Mini Ninjas <laughs> as, is... As everybody knows, I am cheap. It is. Dustin Legary is the voice of the masses. I'm the one that just kind of <laughs> loves everything and wants people to buy everything. Yeah. And you're the one that refuses I'm to I'm like, buy that costs money. So Mini, Less than a dollar, but still. Mini Ninjas is a universal app, and it's 99 cents. Um, this game that I just popped into now is called Dungeon Plunge, Dungeon Plunger. Plunder. 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 Not Plunger. Dungeon Plunder. It is 199, and it's also a universal app. Okay. Have you ever played a roguelike, roguelike Destin? No. So this is sort of like a roguelike. It's a dungeon crawler. Oh, um, okay. And what? So I get. You know, I don't know how you define a roguelike. It's basically a dungeon crawler where if your character dies, he's dead forever. Oh, okay. So Dark Souls, sort of. Well, well no, no, no. You can die in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously, as we're seeing right now, the big twist is that the battle system is this slot machine battle system. Okay. So there's always two spins. So the first spin, you get to choose which you know, reels you want to hold. Mm -hmm. And so I'm holding these four because the axes are how my warrior deals damage. Mm -hmm. And then you respin a second time to sort of get a chance to change. So if I spin, okay, we'll hold this one axe to get some attack. We'll hold this one shield to get some defense. And we'll respin and we'll hope to get more axes and shields. Okay. And so I took eight damage, but I only dealt two damage. Uh-oh. That's my, not good. My character might die here. But so I can hold these hearts this mm -hmm. time and then hope to get more hearts to heal up my character. All so right. I gain nine In health. Invigorating. I'm going to get some money. I am almost dead. Oh, no. I want to get back to the world map. You know, you're just playing a slot machine, right? It so you're not you're it's, slot machining. It's a slot machine battle <laughs> system, yeah. I, I want to I wanna get back to the world map and show you one more thing about this game. Okay. Ba -ba -ba, but I can't. I got to win. I got to win. Got to win. What are you fighting right now? Uh, This Oculus up in the top left corner. In the lower left? Nope. Top the, left. The eye? Yeah. That little eye? I mean, that's just his icon. Like, he was, oh, on, okay. the, he was on the world oh. map. Oh. Nice. Yep, that was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, it's close. It's gonna be close, Destin. This is also taking a long time. I, I can feel the tension. I don't think. I, I think have you, no idea what's happening. I died. You lost. I died. So that game sucks. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dungeon Plund Plunder is not super polished. It's a little bit like King Cashing, but King uh -huh. Cashing is probably better. Is that all you do on the Overworld map? Um, what do you mean all you do? I mean, I didn't get to show you the overworld map, really, because oh, okay. I died. Okay. But you walk around the overworld, and there's towns and quests and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, so, that sucks. I wish I could have saw that, but yeah, whatever. Sorry. That's, I d actually do have, so I captured 10 minutes of gameplay footage, and it's up on IGN. And oh, it's great. On, it's up on YouTube, so, so I people, can, people can check it out there. Thanks. Yeah. And you. You were people, Dustin. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> I am people. <laughs> That's the highest compliment you've been given. Um, so on to some freebies and some price drops. Infect them all, vampires. This is Infect Them All Vampires. Um, this game was made free today because... Why is the volume on all this stuff so loud? Oh, that, was, that was really loud. Yeah. We, uh... It's on like negative 30 decibels and I can still hear it. Anyway. The this... sequel is Infect Them All to Zombies. And okay. So the sequel is out now. This is the original. And so it was made free to promote the sequel. Oh, hey, look. A star system. What? It has a star system. What are you talking about? 
you had three stars on mission one. Oh, and it, oh, a star system. I thought yeah. you meant like a solar system. I'm like, no. <laughs> yep, I meant the solar system. So you run around and try to turn these people into vampires. You move with the left stick, yeah. and then you can bite them uh, with a button that pops up on the right. And once they're a vampire, they'll go around attacking all the other normals, the other humans. And you know, you're trying to convert everybody. Mm -hmm. and that's basically it. Super simple, casual. You know, you don't really have a lot of direct control over your character. You have this sort of attack move. You can I like do. the art style, and I like the fact that it's zero dollars. Yeah, it is free today. What's it called? Uh, infect them all zombies. Or nope, that's not even right. Infect <laughs> them all vampires. Oh, okay. So Get that the guy with the bat. I know, I'm trying. Yeah. And so anybody that's purple is someone that's already infected, and they're running around like you know doing my bidding now, and I have to try to convert you know who's ever left. Get him. Vampires, vampires, vampires. There, that stage is about over. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. You know, and this was sort of... Infection complete. Three stars. And you can level up your character. You know, you have some things that you can level up. It's pretty fun. Okay. Not bad for zero dollars. No. Um, we also have the only other freebie... Nope, there's two more freebies. So the next freebie is uh, Magnetic Gems HD. My kind of game. The zero dollar game. Yeah. This is iPad only. Sorry, Destin. Aww. I have an iPhone. It's iPad only, no iPhone? iPad only. Oh, man. So it's sort of like Snood or Bust a Move. You've played Snood and Bust oh. a Move, right? But nope. You've never played either of them? <laughs> I probably played them like once and then put them down. So it's a puzzle Bejeweled. game. Bejeweled. You know, you're trying to aim here and you're trying to match the colors. And then this gem mm -hmm. that's like sparkling right here, it does some crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. magnetic and screws you over? Yeah, there it goes. So it'll delete gems, and I guess, I don't know if you call it a twist, but this game's sort of hook is that it's got this gravity oh. system where all the gems are, like, sucked into the middle as it's you start clearing neat. them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so you can bounce them off walls. It's a little bit janky. I mean, this game isn't really super polished. It um, looks fine. Yeah, but I just mean, like, the aiming doesn't feel, like, as good as it could. There's nothing oh. wrong with it, and it is free, and it's got, you know, lots of mm -hmm. levels. If you are a big Bust and Move fan, big Snood fan, you know, grab this while it's free today. Isn't this what Bejeweled's like? No. You, oh. Is every puzzle game just like Bejeweled to you? <laughs> yep. Bejeweled is actually nothing like this. Oh, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> oh, Destin. You're just so used to your like dooms and your Gears of Wars and your... <laughs> I play Call other games. I play other games. So who are you killing in this one? <laughs> <laughs> We're the You're aliens. You're killing the fish. So to th today's... <laughs> I'm not even going to answer. Today's last freebie is Magnet Monkey. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Cause I Why? Wasn't, I wasn't especially impressed. You you're a monkey. You're so cute. Look at him. So these, he's magnetic, and, oh. and that thing, he's, like, stuck to that guy right now. And if I tap him, you know, then he gets – then wherever I tap on the screen, he moves, like, away from you. Like, I push the monkey around the screen by tapping. Like, if I want him to move right, I tap on the left side of him. And you're just so you're like the positive ion and he's the negative ion. Yeah, like he moves away. Or from, no, wait. You're both negative ions. He moves away from the direction you tap. And then you're just, you're just trying to get him into each the, each stage's exit, and then he gets sucked into these guys, and they complicate things for you. Okay. Yeah, super simple. You he know. is so cute. Look at him. Free today. You know, I don't know that that's one adults are going to love, but kids will probably like it. Yeah. Um, Mensa Academy is another Square Enix game. This was four ninety nine, and now it's down to ninety nine cents. Okay. So it's eighty percent off. Better be amazing. That's all I gotta say. Wow. Why? I bought Plague Inc. Oh, Plague Inc. At your recommendation. Man, Plague Inc. So it's good. free on Android. It's ninety nine cents on iPhone. That's and I have it on both platforms now. That's how it works, man. Android yeah. gamers don't spend money. Yeah. So Mensa Academy is a brain training style game. I guess you would call it. I've only done the language section, as you can see. Let's see what the math section is. I actually don't even know. We're just going to do it live. Okay. We're doing it live. As, no as the internet meme says. No words on it. Is that a meme? Yeah. Okay. Look, he's a doctor with a baseball bat. Yeah, it's Mr. Mensa. Shoot all the targets that are multiples of 11. Oop. So we're just doing, so this is like a simple math exercise, right? Should we go through all 10 of these or should we already quit? No, no. no? I'm not good at math. Let's see how long it takes me to do one. Looks like you're also doing simple addition. And this is the first stage, so obviously the math problems get, you know, more elaborate as they go on. It's eight. It is. No, no, no. Keep going. Nope. I quit. Ah, okay. How much? That's 99 cents? Yeah. It looks like it's got all it's kinds of... It's kind of like Brain Age. Yeah. That's exactly what I already compared it to. Oh, no, so... <laughs> <laughs> I have a no attention span at all. It's a Brain Age brain training style game. Okay. Um, Yet again, your battery is dying. <laughs> yeah. Ongoing theme. What is that it? Nope. What else you got? 
Uh, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. Ooh. So this game is normally eight ninety nine, mm -hmm. but in honor of Tomb Raider coming out, it is on sale for ninety nine cents. Wow. But again, this is iPad only. And eight. iPad only. Come on. I'm not incredibly impressed with this port. Actually, mm -hmm. um, I mean, you'll see for yourself in a moment here. Oh, I'm going to see for myself. It's not bad, but it's also just not great. What um, is this, like an Xbox? You said port, so where was it originally released? Uh, I played it on PC. Okay. You know, I think it hit XBLA, yeah. Didn't you ever play this game? Nope. Oh, I know this game. So it's three-fourths overhead. I didn't play it, though. Uh, you know, you move with the left stick, you shoot with the right stick. It's a twin stick shooter. Well, I mean, the, it's got twin stick shooter controls, but the thing about Guardian of Light is it's actually a puzzle game. Okay. So, you know, it's much more of a puzzle game than the new Tomb Raider, for example, mm -hmm. which, as fantastic as that game is, some people are sad that the puzzles are gone. So, you know, you're trying to move about the environment, and uh, it just, it, even though it's from this sort of semi-overhead perspective, it mm -hmm. is more like the old-school Tomb Raider games where, you know, yeah. you're... You're kind of trying to solve environmental puzzles and uh, go through the levels, but you know this is the first stage, so it's just kind of teaching me how to play right now. The port's not bad. Um, the only reason I say I wasn't that impressed with it is that it's just a lot of on-screen buttons, right? Yeah. And I, you know, I wish they would have implemented some sort of swipe, or you know, like why can't you tap Lara to move where you wanted to move instead of using a, a stick, right? Like I feel yeah. like that's just a little bit lazy. Um, it is 99 cents. If you've never played this game, it's really, really great. It's better on PC, but, you know, the, the iOS port is still passable. I think it's on everything. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think Isn't it's it? on consoles and stuff, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 99 cents, I mean, for a $9 game, it's kind of a steal. Yeah, that is a big, big sale. So if you've been on the on the edge of buying it, now's your chance. Living on the edge when you can't help yeah. yourself <laughs> from... Uh, yeah, I thought you were going <laughs> to join in, but then you just left me hanging I got embarrassed. Uh, Karaoke theme and I do. I guess today. I thought we had one more, but we don't. That's it. So that was last but not least. Yeah, certainly not least today. Yeah. Um, well, least in price. I would say, you know, to sum up. Except uh, for the freeze. Sum up, Dungeon Dungeon Plunder is okay, but uh -huh. uh, King Cashing is better. Okay. Uh, Mini Ninjas is okay, but there are better Endless Runners. Mm -hmm. Neither of them are terrible games. You know, if the footage looked appealing, feel, you can feel safe grabbing them. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not radically impressed with any of the price drops or freebies, but, um, you know, anything that's free, obviously, like Infect Them All Vampires, feel free mm -hmm. to grab something like that. Cool. Well, thanks, Justin. Thank you, Destin. Uh, thank you, D-Legs. <laughs> uh, this has been your App Store update for Wednesday, March 6th. Uh, and as always, for all your mobile gaming hotness, you can keep it locked to IGN.